What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll show you how to add and customize a buy now button on Shopify store. So here I have my Shopify store opened and I'm signed in with my account as you can see my store here name is at the top right and here I have my dashboard so I can view my orders my products customers content and so on. So I have set up like a test store with a couple of basic uh, test products. So here are they. And here I have many options and I have my settings on the left. To add a buy button on Shopify, you'll need to go to the Shopify app store. So here click on add apps and then scroll down and open the Shopify app store. So I'll click on Shopify app store. It'll open in a new tab and then what I want to do is search for buy button here. So in the search, I'll type, type in buy button, hit enter. You'll have many results. However, we want this one. This is the one we want, the buy button channel. We click on it and make sure it's developed by Shopify. So it's the official uh, like app for the buy button. We want to click on install. Then here it'll give you more details. So the uh, like uh, uh, privacy details. Okay. And the permission details of the app, you can go ahead and read them and the permissions needed for the app. Okay. Once you agree to all that, click on add sales channel. It'll ask you right away to create a new buy button. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll click on create a new uh, buy button. You want to here choose product by button. So we want to create a buy button for a product. Okay. You can create also a buy button for a collection. That's the second option. Now we'll choose the product for which we want to create a buy button. So I'll choose the basic hoodie product here that I have set up and here click on select. And now I can edit and customize my buy button. So here first you have like two views, you have the desktop view. So that's how your buy button will look on the desktop or the mobile view. That's how it'll look on mobile. And you have an another option where you can control like the width. So let's stick to the desktop view for now. Now here we can change the layout. So if we click change here, we can change the product that's the change. So we'll go to layout style. We have three layouts, the basic here. So only a button that says add to cart and the classic. So like a photo of the product, their name, the price and add to cart button, or we can go to full view. So a view of the product and the name, the price. And if we have a description for the product, I didn't add the description. We will see it here. So let's change the product just to show you what I mean. So I'll choose the coconut soap. Uh, bar. And here, as you can see, since this product has like many images and has a description, it'll show up here. And as you see here, the uh, description of the product is shown as well as the many photos of the product. So the client can view many photos of the product. However, for just the sake of simplicity, uh, let's revert back to a basic hoodie. Okay. Now, uh, you can choose also the action of the button here. We can set it to add product to the cart. So add to cart, or we can set it to direct to checkout. So the client can click and buy directly, go to checkout and buy the product. So for now we'll leave it to add to cart. And here we can edit the button style. So we can round up the button corners. The more the value, the more round the corners are, as you see here, if we crank it all the way up, it'll have like round, very round corners. Okay. And the button width, we can control it. We can make it wider. Here you have the background color. So here by default, it's green. Maybe we want it to be yellow. And as you see here, the color updates like in real time. Okay. That's yellow. That's green. If I want to make it blue, so choose the color that I want. Let's keep it. Let's keep it green as it is, uh, make it a bit darker. We can choose also the button text to so the text color. We can make it black. Okay. Okay. Here. Now we can also choose the font for the button text. 
and you can go ahead and try out many uh, fonts to uh, select the one that you like okay let's say I like this one and we can also increase the button size so we can make it a bit bigger and I want to make it wide okay not that wide let's round up the corners a bit so let's keep it that way okay I like this so now when I go to layout here here in the layout I can edit many options like the image size and the alignment I can align the text to the left or the right or the center I want it in the center and the but I can even edit the text uh, on the bottom itself so it says add to cart let's type in buy now of course the uh, button will add the product to the cart so we cannot write in buy now so we can type in add to cart okay and we can edit the colors for the product title like let's so let's make the product title so the uh, basic hoodie red okay and we can the price text itself we can edit it so let's make it blue okay we can edit also the font and the size for the product uh, title here and the font and the text size let's increase the price text size a bit here and increase the product title a bit that that's looking good and note here the layout settings will change based on the layout itself so if we choose the basic layout and go to layout settings we only have the options of the alignment of the button and the button text we do not have the options for the uh, title and the price and so on since they are not visible in this style okay now the shopping cart here lets you edit the cart like layout or view so once the client adds the item to the cart a pop-up of the cart shows up so the heading says cart okay that's what it is written here we can change it so my cart okay the subtotal we can change it to like total okay and now we have notes here at the bottom so shipping and discount codes are added at checkout we can leave it as it is or we can edit them and add new notes the button text says checkout and the empty cart so when your cart is empty it'll say your cart is empty and you can also edit the background color and the body text so if you want to make the background color like a bit yellow we can do so okay and the body text we can make it like black instead of gray looking good okay and once you edited all the details here of course you have also your advanced settings so the checkout can open in a pop-up window or redirect you in the same tab so you can choose whatever you want and once you edit all your details here you can click on next and here you can copy the code of the buy button your buy button and paste it in your website or the html editor of your web page and you can also get your buy button for wordpress Squarespace and Wix and that's how you can add and edit and customize your buy button on Shopify web store